mistake. Then bam, you ain't dunks in your face. This is a team you don't wanna miss. We are New York. All right, here we go. Salute to Dick Station on this Saturday afternoon. Another edition of Knicks Fan TV's Post Game Live presented by Underdog Fantasy. Go to underdogfantasy.com, use our code KFTV for an instant deposit match of up to $100. Knicks returning home to Madison Square Garden after a 3-1 four-game West Coast trip to take on their Cross River rivals, the New Jersey Nets. And this one was a tough affair. Two through three quarters. But in the fourth, it was Dante's Inferno, the big raccoon, with 13 fourth quarter points to help these Knicks push the lead and ultimately run these Nets out of town, man. The deuce was loose all night. Dante's Inferno, McBride, and DiVincenzo combined for 58 points. 57 points. And the Knicks win 105 to 93 to get back on the winning side of things, man. Let me know your thoughts. Call me up 657-383-1509 or you can hit me up on the KFTV Discord, man. CB the franchise on the solo dolo. So to everybody in the chat, once again, hit that thumbs up button for you boys. Another one for the good guys, man. Salute, salute, salute. 105-93. Knicks get the dub. And as is usually the case with these matinee games, you wonder how the team is going to respond. You know, they're coming off of a West Coast trip. It was a tough loss in Denver. They laid it all out there on the line. A lot of guys logging heavy minutes, Josh Hart included. So you wanted to see, at least I was curious to see, how would they respond at a 1 o'clock game? Uh, according to the telecast, they didn't get in until 5 a.m. yesterday. So uh, the Knicks staying in Denver Friday uh, didn't get in until, um, until 5 a.m., and so that was, uh, was going to make things interesting. But I thought they started off the game, especially on the defensive end, uh, pretty dialed in. <laughs> but nevertheless, both teams were shooting the ball fairly well, uh, leaving the first half. Nets still shot the ball 53% from the field, 50 from three in the first half. Knicks 41 and 43, respectively. So this one was a, was a tight one through and through, man. I thought the Nets were pretty diligent in their offense. You know, Cam Thomas Deuce was not giving him any room to breathe, so he had to work for his. Mikal Bridges had his moments early in the game, but not so much in the in the second half. And then conversely for the Knicks, you know, Jalen Brunson didn't really have it going early. I thought the Knicks did Nets did a good job either putting bridges on him, putting some size, putting some length on him, sometimes putting two on the ball just to make it a little bit difficult for him to get going. Nevertheless, Brunson still finished with eight assists on a tough shooting night. But it was Deuce McBride once again setting the tone for this team and taking advantage of an opportunity that wasn't there for him earlier this season, man. Another End-to-end, 48-minute, two-way performance by Deuce. 26 points, 6 of 12 from downtown, and 3 assists, plus 12 on the night for Deuce, man. 6 of 12 from downtown. And, uh, you know, I I loved his offense out there. Yes, the 6 of 12 is great, but you saw some great plays with him putting the ball on the floor, driving baseline on Cam Thomas in the first quarter. One of the plays I really liked in the the third quarter, which really started – to, to, you know, the, the Nets, you started to see a little bit of uh, chink in their armor in that third quarter when McBride, late in that third, helped spark a 9-0 run in which he had five of the Knicks' nine points to finish out the quarter. And one of those buckets, the two-pointer, was uh, off of a rebound, pushing the break, one-man fast break in transition, and then finishing with the left hand. To me, I thought that was probably the best move of his night because the threes have been so consistent. That's been a great part. But uh, seeing him put the ball on the floor, separate from the defense, and uh, and get a nice lane with the opposite hand, I thought that was a good look for McBride. But nevertheless, man, taking advantage of his opportunity, 9-16 from the field overall, that McBride contract is looking like another steal for Leon Rose and company. And talk about a guy that takes advantage of his opportunities. Deuce McBride looked no further. Because this was another outstanding, outstanding effort by him. And he continues to uh, to impress and, and make his coach, the coach that has vouched for him this entire time. 
Tom Thibodeau. Uh, make him look very smart, man. So great job by Deuce McBride. You know, Deuce is, is he's what we wanted from Quentin Grimes. <laughs> right? Deuce is giving you everything that you wanted from Quentin Grimes for these past few years. Three and D. Three and D. And three assists. Playmaking as well. So, man, oh, man, who would have thought when we talked about the Knicks having this stable of young players, all these guys, RJ Quick, OB, Cam, Grimes. McBride was always the last on the pecking order. And here he is, the last man standing and playing a vital, somebody in the chat said a vital role, JJ, vital role, vital role. So we're going to get more into, into the McBride story, but I just thought he did a good job, especially when Jay, two reasons why McBride was so important in this game. Number one, because the Nets defense on Brunson was pretty good. I also thought Brunson's shot selection was a little dicey. And then at the same time, no free throw attempts for Jalen tonight. So I thought that was a combination of him not really being as aggressive and then also not getting some calls, especially early in the game. So McBride's offense was vital to pick up where Brunson left off because Brunson only shot 7-24 from the field. But also when you look at the 48 minutes, it's another indictment on this Nick Bench. The B&B, the brick and brick construction business. Burks and Bogdanovich, eight points between them, 22 minutes between them, three of 11 from the field. And Bogdanovich, this time winning the Tom Thibodeau sit your ass down on the bench for the second half award. Early, early in, the, in, the, uh, in the West Coast trip, it was Burks' turn. Today, it was Bogdanovich's turn. Because, again, he was brutal. And another situation where he picks up a turnover getting stuck in traffic when he has no moves, nowhere to go. Three games in a row, he's done that. So McBride's production to cover both for Brunson and the bench was vital in this game. And 48 minutes, Tom Thibodeau, 48 minutes against the Nets. That should tell you a lot about the health of this bench unit. But nevertheless, he came through in the clutch. And then, with the Knicks up by three in the fourth quarter, to start the fourth quarter, 77 to 80, Knicks were up by three. The Nets would score, open the quarter with a three. And then they did not score for another eight minutes. uh, Nets go on an eight-minute drought in this fourth quarter. And on the other side, it was the big ragu, Dante's Inferno, who absolutely went ballistic, torching the Nets from downtown, had a couple of smooth buckets to the rim. You know, Dante's finishing is always questionable, but tonight... He was scooping those layups, and he had about four good finishes at the rim today, some over a tough, uh, lanky Nets defender, some over Macau Bridges, and just being aggressive out there. Big Ragu, 31 points. How about that? 31 for the Big Ragu. Five dimes, two steals, a block, six rebounds. I should have picked him in underdog fantasy tonight in my draft. 12 of 24 from the field. Talk about stepping up. The big ragu, Dante DiVincenzo, was excellent in that fourth quarter. And a plus 10 on the night, but man, he was great. So great job by DiVincenzo and uh, and great job by McBride, really holding it down uh, for most of the game. And then, you know, in this fourth quarter, you had Hart get him his Hart minutes. He had a couple of good ones, 13 rebounds for Josh Hart. He had 13 rebounds for Josh Hart in this game, even though his shot has kind of been loosey-goosey since the Denver game. Six, Six boards, six points, five dimes, 13 rebounds for Hart. Still did his job. A steal, a block. Great night on the fantasy stat sheet as well. Great job by Josh Hart. So even though his shot hasn't been falling as much, he, uh, he he still got the job done. I also thought Hartenstein chipped in well. 17 points, 9 rebounds, 4 steals, 2 blocks for iHeart. What do they call him, the Black Jokic? That's, that's his new nickname. <laughs> and it is going crazy. So iHeart, another outstanding game by him. He's looking better and better. You can see he's a lot more mobile, a lot more agile, and leading the way on both ends. Severely outplayed Nick, Nick Claxton. And the Nets bigs. So good job by I Howard. 17 9, 8 of 10 from the field. Efficient night. Four steals, two blocks. Great job there. 
And I thought, you know, if it wasn't, you know, that fourth quarter explosion was great. Knicks outscored the Knicks 25 to 16. But what I also thought helped the, the Knicks really stay in this game was a second chance points battle. 26 to 3. Second chance points, and Knicks beat the Nets 26 to 3. So a lot of the bricks they were shooting earlier in the game, they did a good job of cleaning it up. You had Hartenstein with four offensive rebounds, Brunson one, McBride one, Hart three, Dante two, Precious two, and Sims two, and Burks had one. So good job by them getting the second chance opportunities. 16 offensive rebounds overall, which led to 26 second chance points. So good job by them there. I thought that was part of what allowed them to kind of stay in this game because the Nets were scrapping. The Nets were scrapping for pretty much uh, all the three quarters. So good job by the Knicks there in, in really, um, you know, just having effort even though shots weren't falling, sticking with them defensively, and then giving that extra effort to allow themselves to get second chance opportunities. So many facets of the game that you got to win in a team game. So good job there. 105-93, man. Knicks get the job done. They go to 42-28 and 28 on the campaign. Call me up, 657-383-1509. Let me know your thoughts on this one. Or you can hit us up on the KFTV Discord, man. Let me salute some people in the chat. My franchise channel members, if you guys are in here, throw an emoji in the chat. Let me know that you're in here, man, on this matinee edition of Knicks Fan TV, man. Rainy day here in New York. Hopefully the weather is good where you guys are at, man. Shout out Reek Flair. Reek Flair says, I got a bar- KFTV on the big screen while we barbecue outside. Reek Flair, where are you at? That's where I need to be at. I need to be where you at. It's been raining all day in New York, man. Cats and dogs. Billy R23, what's good? D-Block, 1755. I got DNK81, salute. Miss Orange and Blue, salute. John Smith, we in here. Lee Blocks and my, my UK fam checking in. Flo174, Father Peace, always in here. Bomani, always in here. My day ones, John Ol, how you feeling? Ty Vales, John Sherio, salute, salute. All right, let's get to the phones, man. Area code 202, what's your name? Where you calling in from? Hey, what's going on? Good, man. How you feeling? Good, man. My name is Marlon. I'm from Maryland, but I'm yeah. from Brooklyn. Yes, sir. East BK, stand up. East New York. How you feeling? Okay. I'm great, man. I'm great. By the way, I love your show. Everything's Appreciate great it. on your show, man. I love it. Thanks a lot. So, quick, quick, quick thing, man. Precious Achua and Hartenstein, why did I let Precious play the four with Hartenstein the five? Yeah. And just go traditional a little bit. And let him get ready for when Julius Randle come back to be a backup for Julius. Yeah. Well, that's, what I'm, that's, what I, that's what I'm not getting too much. I hear you. I hear you. Certainly understandable. But, I mean, I, I think at this moment in time, they're looking for more offense, and they're looking to spread the floor a little bit, especially with Jalen Brunson out there. The, the problem is is that, yes, when you have Precious out there at the four with Hart and Sign and with Josh Hart, they become a little bit easier to defend. They may get a little bit more, you know, scrappier on the boards, but, you know, it, it's mm-hmm. a little bit tricky when you're trying to score, especially, you know, when they went up against Denver, that's what Tom Thibodeau went with. He's, he went smaller and tried to go with McBride there to have more offense, and you're going to have McBride as your scrappy on-ball defender at the two. But then that size overpowered them. Uh, say one more time, sorry? But the size overpowered them. Then the size, yes. if you would have had hard yeah. and pressures in, that size overpowered them. Yeah. It, it's, it's, a risk, it's a risk you have to take, right? Um, I think... You know, when it comes to closing lineups, anything can can happen. In this game, they didn't need to go there, and they still did win the right, rebounding right. battle. I mean, they still got 16 offensive rebounds. You know, they still I, got 16 I, I offensive agree. rebounds. I just think they got to give it a shot every once in a while because at the end yeah. of the day, when it comes back, that's what's going to – when Julius come back, when, you know, King J come back, yeah, you know, that's, that's, what, that's what's going to be the thing. It's going to be, you know, a big – Julius hit the Julius hit the four and, yeah. and whoever's playing in, in OJ at the three. So yeah. it's gonna be traditional again. I think they gotta get back yeah. into that swing of things with that too. That's fair. I mean it That's could it, you know all, show, all, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Look, it it could all change depending on, on playoff matchups and, and who they play. I just think right now, the way McBride is shooting the ball and defending, hey, go for go with it. Go with what's working. You know? Go with what's working. Against this next team, it didn't kill him. 
Now, against the Nuggets, yeah, MPJ exposed them in that regard. A lot of times you saw where their lack of size, their lack of height hurt them. Against this Nets team that's 26 and 45, you can take your chances. You can definitely take your chances, which is why this bench play is even more disappointing because, yes, as much as we want to say wait till we get full strength to see what their roles are, you have an opportunity here against a bummy Nets team against a second unit of those guys. With your Burks and Bogdanovich, those are matchups you should be able to win. Those are more even matchups for you. But yet again, you're just out there just, just running around being ineffective and then not playing. So that puts more strain on the team. Great job by McBride. He's a young player. He wants to play every minute. He would play 58 minutes if he could every night. But what are you guys doing? You're you, you up against the New Jersey Nets here with nothing to play for. You should be contributing more. That will allow these guys more rest. You have Josh Hart, 44 minutes. McBride, 48. DiVincenzo, 41. It's not going to cut it. I mean, Brock Donovich played seven minutes in this thing. Tricky. You know, it worked tonight, but going to need all hands on deck here. This guy's going to step up, man. We can't be going back, going to the, uh, if, we're full, if we're at full strength, well. John Altore, Fight Out Super Chats, a special win with the greatest Nick of all time being in the building, Patrick Ewing, P.E. Crazy, Crazy P.E. Yes, sir. One of the greatest of all time, the, pe- the captain was, in fact, in the building, man. Good to see. Always love to see Patrick Ewing in the building and getting his flowers. And uh, and the garden serenaded him accordingly. Garden showed him his flowers. They did a nice uh, sideline interview with, uh, with, with, with Ewing and, and uh, Rebecca Harlow. Shared a nice story with Jalen Brunson. We'll get to that a little bit later. But, yeah, good to see the captain back in the building. Enjoying himself and, and being treated well by the fans. 903, what's your name? Where are you calling it from? 903, 903. All right. 408, 408. What's your name? Where are you calling in from? Yo, yo. You? My name's Robert. I'm calling from uh, San Jose, California. San Jose. What's going on, man? How you feel, man? Yes, sir. Long time, uh, long time CP fan. You know what I'm saying? And, yes, sir. Uh, congrats on uh, making it on ESPN every now and then, too. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. I uh, just want to just quick shout out to uh, to Quentin Grimes, um, and you know, hopefully he does well there. And uh, yeah. but uh, Deuce, what a game! What a game! Deuce continues to just just build his uh, play time and. Um, I'm just proud of uh, how well he's playing lately. Yeah. And he's going to keep getting better. But uh, um, what's going on with Bogon? He's just not hitting shots. Bogon is looking um, bummy. I told you all about that that, that, <laughs> that Bodega nickname. Get that uh, out of here. You know, I'm old. I mean, I'm, I'm 50 now, but yeah. he's playing like he's 70. He's looking I'm not terrible, sure what's man. Going on with his legs, Three straight games he in a row. A he put and everybody's like, "Oh, well, he's he's got to go. He's got to <laughs> he, he got to run plays from an ISO." Three straight plays in a row. Three straight games. He puts the ball on the floor in ISO. That gets trapped. Nowhere to go. Jumps in the air. Correct, the correct, card correct, goes right. in, and according to Clyde, I think and throws last it away. Game, last game. Uh, I I don't have the stats, but yeah. I think he freaking turned the ball over like four times. Yeah. So so and Tibbs, all Tibbs gave, him, gave him the bench. Bench treatment tonight, man. Yeah, so uh, I just hope uh, we can figure that out and get yeah. him to step up since he's on the team and hit some big shots that we need. Right. But, uh, you know, like you're saying, Tibbs is giving so many minutes to uh, Chenzo and and, and uh, the young kids, and yeah. then eventually they're going to cast out in the playoffs. I mean, you might as well so. put Shake in the game. You know, Keith Paris, see what Shake can do. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I hope we can figure this out. Yeah, but, appreciate the uh, call, yeah, man. Shout out, man. Just a great show. San Jose and, uh, holding it down, man. Keep, yeah, holding it down. Thank you so yeah, much. Yes, yeah, sir. I'll let your boy. I told y'all, man, no with the nicknames. Bodega. Told you, we're not doing, we're not doing that Bodega stuff with this guy. You've got to earn it, man. He hasn't even had his garden coming out party. He gave you two good games, one against the Rockets, one against Philly in Philly on the road. After that, he's been a no-show. He's got the bird's nest going on at the top right here. He's looking old, man. Bodega. No, ain't no way. 
Cola talked about Quentin Grimes. Grimes Hive has been shut down, man. He missed the he missed Friday's game against the Celtics, Detroit against the Celtics with a knee injury. Looks like he hasn't played since March 13th. So Grimes Hive might be grounded until next year. Doesn't look like this year is gonna be his year, man. Not sure what's going on with Q Dot. That's my guy. Still wish him well. Hopefully he can rebound with his career. But uh yeah, hopefully not with Detroit. Respect Shaq says, uh, but MJ Brooks is Wild CD. I didn't give MJ, I didn't give him the name MJ Brooks. The name MJ Brooks did not come from the nickname naming commission. Com- commission. Did not come from the naming commission. That was from Ron from Baltimore. I just let him run with it. That was, that was from Baltimore. Ron from Baltimore. Yo, big money, big money's gone broke. <laughs> big, big money's gone broke, man. So it ain't. It's just saying he's just not firing, you know. Big, big, big money. Uh, it's looking a little broke. So, you know, you know what we got to do, man. Put him in the trunk. Put him in the what? Put him in the trunk. That's that's it. Can't can't help him. Can't help him. Vader on the Discord. Vader two four ninety eight. Yo yo yo! You hear? Loud and clear, God. Saturday, what's good? How you doing, man? Um, I just wanted to come on real quick. I heard everybody was talking about bogey. Yeah. I'm concerned, too, but here's one thing to think about. Whenever whenever we do get our guys back, they are supplementary. Him and Burks are yeah. supplementary players at the end of the day. So when we do get our guys back and they are back into their roles, they'll get way easier looks than what they're getting now. They won't have to create their own offense, like what they're trying and failing to do as of right now. So that's just my thoughts yeah. on that. I mean, look, I, I, it's still a fair point, but we, we can't keep going to that. You know, they're still, they're they're still basketball bad. players. They're still professional basketball players. Like, you know, and you're playing against a team, a subpar team like the Nets. You got to you gotta figure it out, man. I get it. It's just at this point of these guys' careers, it looks like they're going to have to be spoon-fed. It's, this yeah. is what it's looking like to me. Yeah, fair enough, man. What'd you think about uh, yeah. McBride and Dante tonight, man? Big Ragu went off fourth quarter. Man, Ragu went in his bag. Yeah. I, I love seeing him put the ball on the floor because he does have it in his right. game. Right, right. I don't think we all really knew him as a shooter until maybe like somewhat in the season last year. Yeah. And obviously full strong this year. But we all know he has that in his bag, and he can do it, especially when Brunson's off the court. So I love seeing him not hesitate to put the ball on the floor and not settling for the jump shot, even though he carries us in a big way with that. Yeah. Yep. And as far as Deuce, enough can't be said about Deuce, honestly. Like, the growth is just ridiculous at yeah. this point. Bullshit. But, pause. But yeah. the growth, he's just, he, the improvement is ridiculous. He, yeah. His jump shot is, has been there all season, which I still think he doesn't get credit from the masses for. And then on top of that, he can get to the rim. And I think – Potentially, he'll be able to, you know, once the game slows down even more, get to the free throw line. So, you yeah. know, I'm excited to to watch Deuce. Yeah, like I said, man, the the one play that I was most impressed with in him to, in today's game was uh, the one where he went coast to coast and finished with the left hand. That was my favorite play. Yeah, man. Tried, man. Yeah, I like how he turns his defense into into offense quickly, yeah. man. He's yep. he's a, he, he's he's great for morale too. I think people don't point that out enough. But thank you, man. Yeah, no question, man. Call back anytime. Yeah, with, you know, right, with, with McBride, man, he's he's definitely great for for morale, and and it's 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 an inspiring story. Kid has never quit. He he never bailed on himself. Uh, they said on the telecast he, in his interview, he said that since he's been with the Knicks, he might have taken 10, 10 games off. Period. Period. So, talk about you know someone who's never given up on their dream. McBride is riding that work ethic all the way into the starting lineup and becoming a pivotal uh, um, player on this team. And big shout-out to our guy Dave Zenon, man. Our guy Dave Zenon was working with McBride. So shout-out to Dave Z, man, if he's watching. He he deserves credit. He works with a lot of these guys. McBride, Quick, Obi. Shout-out to Dave Z, man. This this is a, a team win. And you look at his last call I was saying, I mean, McBride's three-point shooting has skyrocketed. Has absolutely skyrocketed. I mean, let's take a look at these numbers here. Basketball reference isn't necessarily the the best.
best site to use when you're trying to put stuff up on the Jumbotron. But if you look at McBride's numbers here, I mean, rookie year, he shot 25% from three. Oh, the, yeah, these are totals. Yeah, he shot 25% from three. 29% damn near 30 last year. He's up to 41 this year. Six attempts last year. I mean, 6.3 attempts last year. 6.6 attempts in his rookie year. Seven attempts. 41% on seven attempts. That is on the money. Excellent. Excellent shooting by Miles McBride. 41% on seven attempts. Incredible. Look at his true shooting percentage this year. 58% compared to 48 last year. And 39 is rookie year. 58% true shooting percentage. And Marvin Smith says he's better off ball. Yeah, absolutely. You know, playing alongside Jalen Brunson is way better for him than being on the ball. No question. I, I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. That's his role. So good job by him. And then 48 minutes on top of that. And then here was Tibbs' comments on him. Here was Tibbs' comments on McBride. Nothing that you don't love about, uh, nothing about Deuce that you don't love. It's a testament to his professionalism. He stays in phenomenal shape. So there you go. The McBride story continues. Uh Uh-oh, we got the Nova Knicks at, at half court. What's Mikal Bridges saying to uh, to Jalen and Josh? Oh, they're doing that under the shirt thing. Don't talk. Don't uh, don't let them read our lips. Speak on the low. So Mikal's probably saying, "Man, I got to get that out of here. These guys are bums." Well, yeah, that's just how it goes, you know. Bumming it up in Brooklyn, Mikal Bridge, the Mikal Bridges story. That's a sad one. McBride's one is a is a is a happy one. Mikal Bridges is a sad one. Wasting away. Knicks also remain one back of Cleveland in the loss column for third in the East. So there you go. Keeping up with the Joneses. And you're going to have to, man, because we got ourselves a little dogfight. Let's go standings watching right now. Standings watch. As Tim Bontemp said, the Knicks tied with the Magic. Tied with the Magic with the same record. But remember, they don't own the tiebreaker. This is why I say tiebreaker, tiebreaker. Very important. So they stay in fifth because Orlando has that. Knicks are two and a half games up on the Pacers who are sitting in the sixth spot and they move four games up on the Miami Heat and the Sixers. So this looks like this could be a 4-5, 3-4-5 battle, I think, from now to the end of the season. One game back of the Cavs. Some of you guys, hey, some of you guys want to roll the dice a little bit. Hey, you three games back of the Milwaukee Bucks for third. I mean, for second, for second. So second is not necessarily out of the uh, out of the realm of possibility here. So there you go. Still in it, still in it to win it, man. Let's get to the phones. Oh man, the phone lines are going crazy right now. Nine one seven. What's your name? Where are you calling in from? Yo, CP, it's JJ from Brooklyn. JJ good, from you BK, doing, how you what feeling, up, man? man? What's good, my dude? How you feeling? What's good, man? How's everything, man? Good. Yeah, good, 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 man. Rainy day in New York, man. Good, good, Could man. Be better. Yeah. yeah, nasty, nasty. What wasn't nasty, though, was Deuce, man. Listen, yeah. got to give this kid a ton of props. He's been a savior, man. He's been just vital. Playing 48 minutes after the game, he's like, I'm great, man. I feel great. Kid's not even tired. He's not even huffing and puffing. Mm-hmm. I think it was. Uh, I think it was also big for Dante to have this type of game because he's been in a pretty long uh, struggle shooting wise. I feel like it kind of coincides with uh, Randall going down. I feel like since Randall went down, it's kind of affected Dante a bit. Yeah, because you know his shooting numbers have been pretty rough for a good almost probably almost two months or so. So that if we could get him going again and. You know, I was I was definitely worried about this game. You know, that first game after a West Coast trip, especially the day game. Yeah. So I wasn't too con- I wasn't too surprised that it started a little ugly. And my last point, if we, 
honestly, I, if we're not going to get the three seed, which it doesn't look like it's very realistic, mm-hmm. I'd probably rather have six than four or five so you can avoid Boston as long as possible. Yeah, and if we matched up with Orlando, I wouldn't mind that either because, you know, we're going to have home court basically throughout, you know, Knicks fans in Orlando. Forget yeah. it. Yeah, I you would um, so. definitely don't want that 4-5, you know, so you should shoot for three. I think they should shoot for three, which is still yeah. there. It's still there for the taking. Yeah, man. right, right, right. That's yeah. true. Yeah, man, appreciate it, man. Appreciate Have the call. Weekend, good, to, good to hear from you, my guy. No doubt, man. No doubt, man. So the Cavs, next few for the Cavs. So to everybody in the chat, once again, hit that like button, hit the share button, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we got like 2,000 people on the check-in. CP the Franchise Live, Knicks Fan TV, number one show for the fans by the fans. Knicks win 105-93. to 93. All right, so the Cavs, next few. The Cavs, next five. At Miami, home and home against the Hornets, 76ers, and then at Denver. So... You know, circle that Denver one as a loss on 331. That's Easter Sunday. But the Knicks got to play play OKC on Easter Sunday as well at home. But this is a, this is a you know, a, a, a formidable stretch right here, save for the Charlotte games. So that that's the Cavs' next five. And then the Knicks' next five goes Pistons, Raptors, Spurs. OKC on uh, Easter, and then at Miami on on April 2nd. Should be able to get these next three at least. Should be able to get these next three. So there it is. On Deuce McBride, a little funny moment here. Uh, So Ben Stiller threw the hashtag Deuce up on Twitter. So I re I retweeted and said they're gonna have to start calling him Trey. You know, he's six to twelve from downtown. He's been lighting it up from three. And then here goes Alan Hahn. Retweeted my tweet says, I tried this last season. I was told it was a dad joke. All right, so maybe it was a bad joke. Whatever, man. It's a dad joke. I'm a dad, he's a dad. It is what it is. I'm old, man. Trey. Call him Trey McBride. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Rate that joke in the chat. One being trash, five being facts. Let me let me let me see what's up. Keith Paris, hell of a job, CP. Keep the content rolling, sir. Appreciate it. Keith, always appreciated, man. It feels good to be appreciated around here, you know? Salute, man. Salute, salute. Andrew, double A3, salute from the UK by way of the yard. Yeah, T- TM. Yeah, absolutely. He kind of insulted us a little bit with that pivot that he made the other day. But you know what? It is what it is, man. It, it is what it is. We, we ain't going to sweat that. But TM, you know what time it is, man. You know what time it is. Salute to TM in the chat. Also, salute to everybody in the chat once again, man. I want to shout out one of my sponsors of today's show, and that is Ginger Hale's Lemonade, the household name and premium lemonades. Shout out my guy, Carl Hale. I just got my second batch of juices just yesterday in the mail. The OG, that's my favorite. That's my go-to, the original Ginger Lemonade. And what I love about Ginger Hales is that they have a, n- a, tum- a number of exotic flavors. From the original recipe to you have kiwi strawberry, you have the berry recipe. And the best part is that they ship nationwide, man. So go to gingerhales.com, use our code KFTV, and get 15% off your first order. Try it out and let me know. For this one, we will allow testimonials, man, because I think you guys will like it uh, as much as I do, man. So shout out to, shout out to uh, our guys at Ginger Hales. Okay. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, who else in the chat? Cam, shoot to Cam. Says Mike Breen hit the, hit the CP. It wasn't pretty, but it was gritty bar. Did he? I, I might have been setting up. I might have been setting up the show. I did not. Uh, I, I did not. I didn't hear it. All right, what's, what's the ratings on my joke? Hot Dorito, one. Brian Gatto, five. Respect Shaq, negative one. Oof, tough crowd. John Goins, recycled joke. I don't, I don't know, man. I just, you know, I freestyle a lot. Ooh, 1.3, some threes. All right, my two cents. After 35, every joke you say is a dad joke. Yeah, that's it, man. You know, I'm, I'm uh, just making that transition. That's just all, all part of the game. Peter Mason, salute to you. Salute to you. All right, man, to the Discord. Still a go, still a go. Let's go. Still a go on the Discord. All right. 
We don't got Stilico, man. Mayor of the Discord is, uh, this mic is a little uh, iffy tonight. Cody Glock, are you there? Cody Glock, let's go. All right, I see Cody Glock. Oh. All right, Cody Glock's not good. Cody, you go ahead and I'll restart. Stilico, restart, and stay mellow. I see you're good. Let's go. Hey, boys, you there? Glad and clear. How you feeling, man? Hey, what's going on? Uh, first time calling in this season. Jeez. Man, what a win. I will... I always say let's let's beat the Nets. Yeah, and we got it done early in the morning here in Australia. Yeah, but what time, yeah, what we time got it is done. It right now? Sorry, man. What time is it there right now? What time is it? What time? Uh, seven o'clock, man. Okay, seven o'clock in the morning. Wow. All right. Yeah, we're getting up early. Uh, <laughs> Deuce McBride, man, yeah. that guy's really showing out, man. Yep. Uh, everyone, everyone was sort of on his back, especially after we traded uh, quickly. Um, I know he only got like. What was it, thirteen million over four years? But yes. even even then, people were people were sort of on his case, saying, you know, we should have given that money more quickly, and uh, McBride's never going to eventuate. But yeah. man, he's proving those people wrong. Big shout out to McBride. Yeah, man, another underdog story along with Brunson, man. You know, McBride is really delivering for this team. Tenacious defender, never quit attitude. Second half, he's picking Cam Thomas up ninety four feet, just trying to show him some different looks. You had to love that about him. And, you know, he he had to go up against the chef and Jamal Murray back-to-back nights. Yeah, man, he's doing it on both ends. And yeah. even when Brunson, you know, Brunson didn't have it tonight, yep. 7-24, and, he's, and he's picking up the slack, and he's doing it on both ends. He's, yeah. Like you said, defense and, and um, killing it with the three-pointers. So, yeah, yeah big shout-out to McBride, man. No, no question about it, man. What's cracking down there in Australia, man? What are you guys up to out there, man? Man, seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, it's all right. It's on, it's on a Sunday, so you know we're chilling out. Yeah, got up early for the Knicks game. Good to start off with a win. Nice. And now, yeah, we'll we'll relax on a Sunday. There it is, man. Enjoy the Sunday, my guy. Call back anytime. Good to hear from you, man. Take care, man. All right, stay mellow. On the Discord, checking in from Australia. Salute to our friends from uh, the land down under. Salute to our guys in Australia, man. For you guys at home, throw your cities, throw your countries in the chat. Let me know where you guys are checking in from, man. We always like to see where our guys are are tapping in from, especially uh, that it's 4 o'clock here on the East Coast. So I know some of you guys, my friends across the pond, are tapping in live. Our friends in Australia are able to catch us live. So these are one of those games and those times where uh, all of our our fans, from or most of our fans from around the world, can tap into the post-game show. So that's always good, man. Salute to our Aussie fan base. Okay. Uh, Will Aquino, Fight Out Super Chat, says, Hey, CP, is this the reason why they extended Deuce McBride? Well, sure. I think part of it is, you know, they they they, they like McBride. McBride has always been a Tibbs guy. And once you, once you, you know, remove quickly, not remove, but once you trade it quickly, you trade it Grimes, you have McBride in the stable, you re- sign him to a contract in which – you know, you don't wait until his market value continues to go up and salary cap numbers continue to go up. Sign him now, and then, hey, you never know. Maybe he's part of the, the solution, or maybe he's part of, you know, something else down the road. But for right now, he's everything for this Knicks team. So, well-deserved deal. And, hey, the sky's the limit for him right now, as he's shown. This guy is definitely the limit for Miles McBride. Okay, 973, 973, what's your name? Where are you calling in from? What's going on, man? Yo, how are you? Um, I'm good. I just wanted to talk about first round matchups real quick. Yep. Um, I know everybody's been saying that we need to get the second, we need to get the third seed, but I'm comfortable taking the fourth seed, and mm. I think that's where we're going to end up. Okay. All right. I, um, I I think it's a good chance. You know, it's a good chance. Yeah, you know, for me, I I don't think we stand a good chance against the Bucks, to be honest with you, and I want to see them play Boston. Yeah, <clears throat> I think that uh, I think I, I just think everybody's been talking about it for so long, kind of fantasizing about it, and I mm-hmm. want to see it. I, I don't want to be a second round exit and then just another year of one day we'll play the Celtics. So yeah, yeah I'm hoping we get the Magic in the first round. I want to avoid the Pacers. Okay. Um, 
I think that they're a little more dangerous than the Magic. I think they'd be yeah. a little more of a headache for us. So I want to sure. see Orlando in the first round. I want to go play Boston. Yeah, Pacers could be a little trappy. I'm with you on that. I don't trust the Pacers series. That could be a little trappy. Um, Orlando, I think, is more of a, a gettable series. And then, you know, Boston, I think that's tough all the way around. It just depends on what the status is of number 30. Julius, what's your status, man? What is the status of one Julius Randle? And uh, shout out to Gamba, producer Gamba, who was able to snipe this video, man, of Julius getting some shots in at the world's most famous arena today. So there it is again. Julius getting some shots in, man. You know, what does that mean? I don't know. Because another report from Tom Thibodeau in regards to Julius was like, yeah, he's shooting. But he said something to the effect of, oh, here's the article right here. <clears throat> Actually, no, let me get back to the article. While you guys watch Julius uh, throw some shots out, let me know what you think in the chat. I'm going to find this article on Julius and his status. Because it's a little bit concerning here. It is a little bit concerning. Where Tom Thibodeau, I can't find the exact article. I'm looking through it on the post. But Tom Thibodeau basically saying that some days are better than others. Some days, there it is right here, New York Post. Let me let me make it uh, zoom in here. Let me zoom out a little bit. This is from Steph Bondi. Some days have been better than others, but just keep working at it and you never know when it turns. So that's the way we have to approach it. With just a little over three weeks and 13 games remaining in the regular season, Randall is still waiting to take contact and is trying to strengthen the shoulder area. This, this is what I mean, man. This is why I say playoffs. It's playoffs. I don't see it. What they're saying is it's not strong enough yet. We got three weeks left. So what are you going to tell me? That within the next week, he's going to do five on five, needs another ten, week to ten days, and then he's just going to go out there when they, the Knicks are playing the Chicago Bulls in game 79? To get ready, to get in, in, in game shape. This is looking like game one. Let's see what happens. If he gets hurt, he wraps it up. And we'll see what happens. That's that's how I see it, man. That That's how I see it. What do you guys think, man? Let me know your thoughts in the chat. I, I just think this is a game one. If at all. Uh, it, it's a game one. Take a shot and see. So, biggest wild card, man. You can talk all the McBrides or the Dantes and this, that, and the third. It's number 30. It's a, num- it's a number 30. And, and and I just don't see it. Somebody said Tibbs is playing mind games. All right, maybe. Could be. $10, 10 pounds, Super Chat. Says Matt Wilson, shout out to Matt. Says, don't worry about the matchups. This new Knicks winning mentality means we can beat anyone. This squad is different. Appreciate you, CP, for making a guy 3,000 miles away in London feel part of Knicks Nation. Shout out to Matt Wilson, man. That is what we do here on Knicks Fan TV, man. We bring the fans closer to home, closer to the action. Whether you like Matt in the UK, whether you like uh, my guy Stay Mellow in Australia, or whether you're just a homie, you know, down the block in the Bronx. Something here for everybody, man. And speaking of worldwide, shout out to Aaron Lazaby, Aptos, California. Coach Rubens checking in from Montreal. Montreal. That was pretty bad. My French ain't too too good right now. I got to work on it. Montreal. Coach Rubens, I'll give you a little tidbit on Montreal. Check out Gibby's. Go to Gibby's and tell them CP the franchise sent you. Go to Gibby's in Old Montreal. Excellent place. Joseph Casado, Bridgeport, Connecticut. Building Blocks, Harlem, USA. Shout out to James checking in from the yard. Boogie Down, Philip Gonzalez, salute. Carlton Thomas, big enough J.A. Salute to J.A. Michael, Mr. Excitement, Jacobs, the Bronx. Grandmaster checking in from Israel. Salute to you. 
Logic, sir, be safe out there as well. Logic, sir, checking in from ATL, man. St. Petersburg, Florida, Bobby Taccio, salute. Clearwater, Florida, Malik Shabazz. Hopefully the weather's better down there than it is up here. Salute to everybody in the chat, man. Eddie Ma likes the worst take shirt. Yeah, man, shout out to the worst take shirt. It's in the shop right now, shop.nixfantv.com. Couple of things in 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 uh, also in regards to um to merch, we're gonna work on our playoff theme this year for the merch. We're gonna come up with merch for the playoffs, but we want you guys' input on it. So we want I'm working with a, an, an an incredible artist on the actual design, but the theme is going to come from you, the fans. And so be on the lookout. I've already posted something in the community section where I want you guys' input on it. I want all the fans to get in and vote on this. Basically, we're going to take a vote on the best theme, and that will be a part of the playoff merch, the playoff T-shirt, hoodie, all of that. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for further announcements on that. But one of the announcements is in the community section right now. So if you guys check that out after the show, that would be ideal. Uh, A couple other notes. Tomorrow's show, uh, we will have Knicks Weekly tomorrow night. We'll also have the NBA Report tomorrow. Tuesday, Mike Vorkanoff of The Athletic will come on the lunchtime live stream. So we'll have another good show there. Shout out to everybody who's been tapping into the lunchtime live stream. We typically start those around 12 or 12.30 during the week. For our people on the East Coast, that is the best time to take your lunch break and tap in to a an interesting guest, a diehard Knicks fan, or somebody who you know is familiar with the team on the beat, where we can kind of talk about the latest trends about the Knicks. And I also like to get into you know their craft and their feel and some of their their success stories. But here is the announcement because next Friday, two things: it is the 500th episode of KFTV's Post Game Live, the Post Game Show. We've done 500 of these already. 500 and so we're gonna have a big post game show friday night but during the day during the lunchtime live stream i got another blockbuster guest lined up i got another blockbuster guest lined up somebody i've been wanting to talk to for a long time somebody i've admired for a long time chuck knows exactly who it is chuck d in the chat and friday during the day lunchtime live stream you are not Going to want to miss it. Trust me. It is going to be a good one. Three episodes away. The 500th episode of Post Game Live. It's going to be an action-packed doubleheader on Friday. So make sure you guys tap in. 773, what's the name? Where are you calling in from? Yo. 773, yes, yes. Hey, a couple of things. Did you go to Hampton? Uh, Who's asking? Uh, a Hamptonian, a fellow Hamptonian, if you are that. Okay, all right. Uh, I went to H.U., put it that way. What, what's the next point? Okay, my next point is that um, I appreciate the win. Yeah. I will never I will never, I will never, never call Patrick Ewing the greatest Nick of all time mm-hmm. um, because Willis, Willis Reed and Clyde exist, and okay. they've got chips. They've got rings. Okay. Did I see them? No, I didn't. Okay. I appreciate that Patrick got his, got his just due. He should yeah. get us just do. Yeah. But let's slow down a little bit. Mm-hmm. Okay? Because we wanna we wanna be a fan base that appreciates championships. And that's what yeah. we've all been working for. That's what this platform, and I salute you, has been working for. We won a championship. That's, that's it. all we've been that's what we're all doing this in for. Yes, a championship. Sir. And salute to and salute to you and he just didn't get it done. Absolutely. Okay. We know about the labor. We know about all that. Yeah. But um and so I'm in Chicago, and I've been in Chicago since '95. Okay. So I've been here, I've been here repping the Knicks, and it's been a difficult situation mm. because I was here for the second Bulls three peat repping the Knicks. Wow, and that's Knicks tough. Jersey, super tough. That's a tough life, you know? man. And it, it's a tough fight, but I, 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 I've dealt with it with pride, mm. you know. Yeah. And you know, there's been times, there's been times I had to leave. I had to leave the pub or the bar a little early. Mm. I, I'm not going to lie. You know, I had to get in the car a little early and leave, you know, because of animosity. The Bulls fans are very aggressive. But I will say this. I am so happy with Tom Thibodeau right now. Mm. And uh, I was I was really, really appreciative of the, um, of the blog that you put out the other day mm-hmm. about giving Tom Thibodeau his props. 
Yeah. Um, I, I got into a discussion with Cormega. So shoot out to, Car- to Cormega. Yeah, shout out Queen to Mega, Fish man. Linus. Absolutely. You know, you know, and we went back and forth on the gram, respectfully, but he wanted to get rid of Tom Thibodeau. Yeah. And I'm just like, as long as our Knicks are playing hard, which they are, that's what I look for a coach. If your team is playing hard every night, then I'm good with the coach. Yeah. If you're saying that he doesn't develop players, but you see McBride, you see all these other guys that you say, you see Hartenstein, you see all these guys that come up under Tom Thibodeau and have gotten better. You can't say he doesn't develop players. Yeah, true indeed. You can't say it. True indeed, man. You have to give him credit for that. And so salute to you. I'm yes, always going to support this platform because it's, for the fans, by the fans. Absolutely. Eight no, days. Number Salute. one show, man. Make sure you tap in on Friday, too, man. I got a blockbuster on Friday. I will be there. No Any doubt. Time. Yes, sir. Time. Yes, sir. I'm out. I'm, I'm in South Chicago. We repping. Okay. All right. All right. No doubt, man. Stay up, man. Yo, DM me on Instagram. We'll, we'll talk about that first point. DM me on Instagram. Absolutely. All right. Appreciate it. It's my man from Chi Town. I was going to hit the music on him, but, you know, he's, he's, on, he's on dark times out there. He's out in Chi-Town. He's in Bulls country. He's out there in the Joe Jordan heyday holding us down out there. We, yeah, we got to give him some time. We had to let him go into overtime and just talk that talk, man. Get it off your chest, man. Let us know how you feel, man. You know? We got to be there for that, brother, man. Yeah. That conversation almost went off the rails. He opened up asking me about where I, where I where I was educated. I didn't know who that was. I didn't know you don't do I owe you money? Do I owe, do you owe me? I don't I don't know what's going on. Kind of cut me off guard. But to his point, you know, I was gonna save this for next weekly tomorrow. This is another great write up by our friend Fred Katz of the Athletic. And this was along the lines I said all of this. This is along the lines of exactly what I talked about. His title, the title of this article is Why NBA Players Couldn't Be More Wrong About Tom Thibodeau. It wasn't, wasn't from Fred Katz, it was from Sam Amick. And it, and it talked about, in this interview, and Steven Chenzo, remember the poll, remember the, the players' poll. Who's the coach that you would least likely want to play for? Least want to play for? Who's the p- coach you would least want to play for? Thibodeau was number one, right? That was a coach's poll that came out a couple of years ago. And I said to the, I said that, and the reason it doesn't matter is because look at the guys that they got right now who fit his culture and are running through walls for him. Jalen Brunson, Julius, Josh Hart, McBride, DiVincenzo, Hartenstein. Like, to a man, every single player that they've had who's worth his name over the last couple of years has repped this coach to the fullest. And as this caller from Chi-Town says... As the caller from Chi-Town says, they're playing hard for him. So Andrew H. says it's a ridiculous article. 400 players are not wrong. Who cares about the 400 players? I don't care about the 450 players. I care about the 13 that are on this team. And the way that they show how they feel about this guy is indicative on how they play on the court. Not always. Not always. But I believe it with this team. And here's DiVincenzo. That poll for me doesn't mean ish. Family show. I've seen the poll, but I signed here. I don't care about Thibodeau's reputation. I don't care. Guys in the NBA are different than before. Everybody wants the game all offense. Nobody wants to come in and practice. But me being my first year, I think he's done a great job of balancing things. The outside world is always a different view. But in your house, in-house, we have a good dynamic, and we enjoy it, and everybody know, enjoys being around each other. To the outside world, you don't really know. All you know is perception. All you know is the history from other teams and his years with different organizations. But we've had plenty of rest days, plenty of off days, blah, blah, blah. So, there it is. I don't care about the 450-some-odd players that voted in the poll and didn't put their name on it. Who cares? I care... First and foremost, about the Nova Big Three. If Brunson wants the guy, he's our guy. Julius Hart, this is our guy. And he's going to get the bag in the offseason. 
He's got all these guys playing head and shoulders above their norm. DiVincenzo, Brunson, Hart, McBride, on down. Hartenstein, you got to give him his credit. Precious, you guys want to claim Precious, right? Raptors fans didn't care about him. Nobody, everybody wrote him off. Got to give credit where it's due. Got to give credit where it's due, man. You know, that's what we do on this show. Got to give credit where it's due. I'm going to take a couple more here and then get up out of here. Rambo, Rambo, let's go, man. I'll mute your mic. Man, CP, man, salute to you guys. Salute to everybody listening right now. Hit that like button, man. Don't play with it. Let's go. Yeah. Man, we had a beautiful matinee today, man. Hey, CP, I remember last year calling in. Shout out to Edgar. Yeah. Okay. Calling in on every matinee. And me and Edgar just like, man, another one. Another, another matinee. Another one. Yeah, yeah. Another yeah. matinee, man. They taking care of business. I love this, man. I love it. I don't even care about the seating. Yeah. As long as they face Orlando in the first round, you could best believe with the permission of the franchise, I'll be outside the Kia Center with a KFTV flag Let's go. calling for everybody to get there and treat it like a home game. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm not here to play with them. I'm here to destroy them. Let's go, man. Let's go. I love, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. I feel like a, a, a proud father right now watching Deuce out there, man. Yeah. A yeah. proud father. No way you light up the G League and then all of a sudden get labeled of not having an offensive game. That is ridiculous, yeah. man. I love this. I've been such a huge advocate for him, bro. So I love seeing this. Yeah. Jalen Brunson getting no free throws. No hey, free throws. You want, ref. No, re- hey, no free throws. You want. Yeah. Yep. Crazy. But, man, I just want to show some love, man. Shout out to everybody, man. Everybody stay together. No trade talks. No trade talks. No trade talks. All right? (laughs) Let's go. All right? Salute. I'm going to holler at y'all, man. Rapid fire. I'm gone. Rambo from Tampa. Salute, man. Always on the up and up. Salute to Rambo, man. Salute to the Rhyme Animal. Chuck D, man. $10 Super Chat says, yes, Tibbs is uh, is one of the all-time greatest Knicks coaches ever. Pulled the franchise out of the swamps with the culture. Has made all the peripheral Knicks nation better. Matter. Facts, we can go up against anybody. That's that's just it, man. We can go up against anybody. Uh, salute to Zayad Rahim. Uh, just join the franchise channel members, man. Salute to Zayad. Salute, man. Salute. Mustafa said those 450 players are soft. Yeah, absolutely, man. Salute to the Czech Republic, JC3. Salute. Fizz Flizzy Flex, fight out Super Chat. You need to get Lloyd Banks to drop a verse on the outro theme. We should, man. Shout out to the boy Wonder, man. Shout out to Banks for sure. Speaking of Cormega, Cormega is he's having an event. Him and Havoc from Mob Deep having an event. Lefty uh, Lake of the Kid uh, over in Queens right now. I was hoping to pull up to that, but um, I don't think I'm going to make it. But shout out to them. Shout out to the legends of our time. Trying to read the rest of the Super Chats here. Everybody that did drop a Super Chat, we will get to it. Okay, here we go. Okay, loaded it up. Junior Caroma Salute Fight Out Super Chat says, uh, Deuce, a.k.a. Deuce is loose. Replaced IQ. Yeah, for now. He, he certainly did for now. We'll see what, see what the playoffs have in store for him. Apostle in the making, franchise channel member says, 48 minutes of Deuce. If you would have told me that in the beginning of the season, this was Deuce instead of Grimes, I wouldn't believe it. Would not believe it. <laughs> Mike says Dante was probably one of them. <laughs> he, probably, he probably was. <laughs> hey, he probably was. Did I hear the Benny the Butcher album yet? No, I did not, man. You guys got to put me on. How is it? I rock with uh, Griselda Heavy. I did not know. I did not know that. Shout out to Gamba. Fight out Super Chats. It seems like uh, they were seeing that two-guard lineup under 6-2 seems to work for the Knicks. I'm just saying. Hashtag Spider. Okay, okay. Let's go. Shout out to Omen. Fight out. Super Chess is good. We got it done. Nets had a lot of luck, but we prevailed. Deuce came. Uh, game is shaping into Joe Dumont's caliber. Hell of a discount with his contract. Yeah, no question. No question, man. Raheem Robinson. Fight out. Super Chat is Deuce the most developed rookie we've had since Ewing. Love the way he's been playing, and I feel more comfortable keeping him as our backup point guard. But yeah, I quickly finished it. You know, second and sixth man of the year. Virtuoso salute. Knicks can get to 50. They can get to 50. Logic, sir. Salute. Bomani UFG says, uh, other than other than size, McBride gives us everything that Gribes didn't. I hope we hold on to this kid and he's not playing his way into a trade bait. Hopefully not, but you're going to have to pay to play, man. going to have to pay to play. Hopefully not. 
Hopefully not. Salute to McBride. Great job by him. Let's get to the key stats of the night, man. Key stats of the night brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Key stats of the night here for the Knicks. Uh, Knicks shooting 43% from the field versus 44 for the Nets. Uh, 37% from downtown to 35 for the Nets. So fairly even there in terms of the efficiency numbers by both teams. This was another one for the Knicks, man, why the Nets were in this game. 6 of 12 from the charity stripe. You can't do that. 50% from the charity stripe. You can't get lazy at the stripe, man. You got to knock those down. My guy Burks has been missing too. Like, you can't do that. Knicks did win the rebound and battle by six. Good job there. Uh, 26 to 25. Uh, they did lose the assist battle by one, but I still thought the ball movement, especially in the second half, third quarter, late, and into the fourth, was really good. So, you know, sometimes assists aren't a, a full indicator of how well they were moving the ball. I thought second half they were doing a much better job of doing that. And another thing on, uh, uh, and another thing as well, if you look at the points in the paint battle, they finished with 48 to 34 for the Nets. I don't know what that number is in the first half, but just by the eye test, it didn't look like the Knicks were really attacking the basket enough. I hate that with them. I hate when they get too shot happy. That on top of the fact that they weren't hitting their free throws and weren't getting to the free throw line as much either. Um, but I felt like they did a much better job of getting it popping in the paint, getting it out the mud a little bit more, especially in the second half. I thought that was important. You got to mix up your shot diet a little bit and, you know, start getting aggressive. Maybe it was just the road legs. They didn't really feel like, you know, mixing it up early. But later on, I thought they, they got into a groove and did a good job doing that. Ten turnovers for the Knicks, got the turnovers down, led to 16 Nets points. Fifteen turnovers for the Knicks led to 19, for the Nets led to 19 Knicks points. They won the fast break battle 18-5. to five. And there you go, largest lead for the Knicks, 18, largest for the Nets was six. So there you go. Those were our key stats of the night. And the key stats of the night, guys, are brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Go to underdogfantasy.com and use our code KFTV. You can also use the link in the video description for a first-time deposit match of up to $100. And with Underdog Fantasy, they have two games you can play. The Pick'em game, where you choose between two to five players, and you're going to predict whether or not those players are going to do higher or lower than a given stat projection. And that and Underdog has a ton of them. Higher or lower than the given stat projection on a given night for your chance to win up to 20 times your money. So that's why the bonus deposit match is a good way to get involved. You know, you can play with as little as 20 bucks. You deposit 20 bucks, they'll match you 20 bucks. You have 40 bucks to play with. So it's a good way to get house money and get your get your uh, get involved in the game. So you have the pickup game and then you have the daily fantasy game that uh, Team KFTV plays as well. Works similar to fantasy basketball, but uh, instead of most fantasy basketball platforms where they play for the entire year, you can play by the game and win money that way. So once again, go to underdogfantasy.com. Use our code KFTV for an instant deposit match of up to $100. Okay. All right. So um, so we take care of that. Took care of some bills. Uh, we'll, we'll load Cody up. We'll close with Cody. Let me get to some more calls on the ch- on the uh, on the switchboard. Two zero three. What's your name? Where are you calling in from? Hey CP, how you doing? This is Joel from Bridgeport. How you doing today? Sir? Joe, 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 or Joel? Joel. Joe. J O E. J O E. Joe from Bridgeport, Connecticut. How you feeling, man? Not bad. Not bad. First, salute, salute to you. Salute to everybody in in the uh, chat. Uh, yeah. uh, hit me up on those likes. Just a couple of points, uh, and then I'm out of here. You know, keep it uh, rapid fire, like you say. So, real quick, just out of curiosity, why did they get Jake Milton, and they're not like really using him? That's one. Yeah. Two. If you were to be able to ask Tibbs one question, just based on the season, the way it's going right now, what would you ask him? One, wait, one more. Wait, Three. repeat that question. Sorry, I was, I was, I was tweeting Kendrick Perkins. One, one more question. I mean, repeat that question. If you were, yeah, in uh, just the way the the season is going right now, mm-hmm. if you were able to ask Tibbs mm-hmm. one question, what would it be? Three. Yep. Uh, if you were to get everybody back healthy right now or whenever, mm-hmm. do you think that'll put us over the top? And why or why yeah. not? Okay. All right. And then just the last thing, uh, just down. based on the caller that called in from Chicago, mm-hmm. I don't care what anybody says. Charles Smith was fouled, and that's <laughs> it. I'm out. <laughs>
<laughs> salute. Salute to the OG, man. Salute to the OG. I have to write all his questions down. He's like, one, two, three. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. First question for Tibbs. Is the season where to end today? Could be rotation. You know, rotation would certainly be it. Um, rotation would be it. You know, if they make the fourth seed again this year or, you know, just even making it this year, how he compares this team to last year's, both offensively and defensively. You know, I'd ask him about McBride's development. Yes, McBride has put in a lot of work. You, you, uh, you know, you, you read some of the articles that um, that was written on McBride. Put up 500 threes per day, so he's been working for this moment. 500 threes per day. Um, at full strength, whether they land, I still think they're Eastern Conference Finals team at full strength. But at full strength means you're having an All Star Julius Randle, which I don't think you're gonna have. But either way, yeah, e- either way, I-, I think they are a. Uh, Eastern Conference Finals team. Yeah, so uh, it's Kendrick Perkins. So shout out to Dizzy Dave. It's Dave Shuez uh, on Instagram. I mean, on Twitter. He adds Kendrick Perkins. Says, when are you coming to KFTV? It will be legendary. Kendrick Perkins says, I haven't got my invite yet. Kendrick Perkins, I'm sorry. But that is a worst take, sir. That is a worst take. I've been texting you. I've been reaching out to the proper channels. And we have not gotten the appropriate response. So my people at Next Nation, I got 2,000 people in here on the chat. Let Kendrick Perkins know, at Kendrick Perkins on Twitter, and let him know that the franchise and KFTV have been looking for him. They've been hitting him up, texting him, all, all that. And to no response. All right? So we'll just put that out there. Q gave me a number, and you haven't responded. Haven't got my invite yet. It's just, that's just like, that's just like, you know, when when you're trying to shoot your shot in the DMs to, to, to the joint, right? You're going crazy on your Explore page, right? And you actually join out. You know, when are we going to go out? She says, uh, I haven't got my, 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 my invite yet. You haven't asked me out yet. It's like that. Come on, Kendrick Perkins. No, don't treat us like that. This is Knicks Fan TV, man. This is Knicks Fan TV, Kendrick Perkins. Get with it. So, yeah, for my people in chat, hit up Kendrick Perkins. Let him know we're looking for him. But speaking of ESPN, we do have a good guest on Friday. That's just a little hint. That's just a little hint. I'll just leave it at that. You guys be the judge. All right, a couple more. 718. 718, what's your name? Where are you calling in from? Hello? Yes, hello. Hey, how you doing? This is AJ. I'm from Brooklyn. Good, how are you? Um, I was just calling because, man, fans are wilding about uh, replacing Tibbs, man. This is about to be the, what, the third season we have 40-plus wins. Yeah. Um, the dude has the team playing out of out of control basically right now. Not out of control, but basically we're playing at an all time high with four starters missing. You can't complain about that right now. Imagine if we had the four starters, we'd be on yeah. pace to win like sixty plus games. Um, just I, I, I'm I'm honestly tired of it because the, the dude is about to get an extension, and yeah. um, we gotta you know we gotta stop with that. Dibs has has created this team to become. Basically, we're all adults. Like, we have to, we have to appreciate that, man. And we we might possibly win fifty games this season. Yeah, fifty burgo on the way. Um, but yeah, that's all I got, man. Okay, These fans got to stop wilding on Tibbs like that. Man. Yeah. he deserves everything that's coming to him. So throw him the bag, man. Throw him the bag. He's gonna get it. Peace out. Hit that like button for your boys. Absolutely, one time. Salute, man. Call back anytime. All right. Call back anytime. Nine five four nine five four. What's your name? Where are you calling in from? <clears throat> Hello, this is Justin from Queens. How you doing? Good. How you feeling? 
I'm good. I'm good, man. I was at the game actually today. That was um, a vibe. The vibes were. It was amazing today. This just had to be the best game I've ever been to. CP. Mm. I got to do the shoot around today, so I'm the guy that does the shoot around challenge today. Nice. With my three at the end. So wait, wait, so wait, 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 wait. Which about... contest? Which con? Wait, did you do? Uh, did you do the like pregame, or you did like the actual like timeout entertainment? No. Yeah, the timeout entertainment at the end of the third quarter. They called wow. me down. I went with my dad and my brother's first game, next game. And I had the chance to, you know, walk the tunnels and see all of, all of the MSG to the players' eyes, which is amazing. Yeah. Got to see Patrick Ewing today, Larry Johnson, Allen Houston, man. I'm telling you, it's, it's a great game today. The, the vibes are definitely immaculate. Don't want to nice. see Alec Burt or Bogey touch the floor anymore. Yeah. I'm, I'm over that now. <laughs> I'm so over them now after today. But um, great night today. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting UCP, I think, at the Giants and Dolphins game earlier this year. Uh, oh, that was, down, that, that, that was down in Miami. Yeah, yeah, down in Miami. Yeah, yeah, nice, that, small that world, man. That took a picture with you. Yeah, small world. Yeah. So I just want to big up you and, and all you're doing, all the work you're doing. Uh, you, you you know you represent New York the best way possible. So Salute, man. appreciate you. Um, I'm, I'm excited for our team. Yeah. Even though we're not healthy right now, I know we're going to reach, you know, the, I, at least the, the bare minimum second round, but okay. I'm hoping that OG and everybody comes back and Randall comes back strong uh, and we get that Eastern Conference Finals. Do, I'll keep it short. Do me a favor, man. Your, if, I, I if, if, if you got any good oh. uh, if you got any good footage, man, tag us on Instagram. Oh, okay, got you. I'll send yeah. you some pics, man. I got Absolutely. You. Absolutely, man. All right. Stay up. I appreciate you, CP. Have a great guy. Have a great day and, and go Knicks, man. Likewise, man. Yeah, for you people at home, when you guys go to these games, if you guys got... Uh, Good seats or good photos, good footage. Tag us on the tag us on the gram, man. We'll, we'll shout you guys out. Throw you in a little story. We'll shout you guys out. User generated content. We're always looking for it. So if you guys are at the game, or you guys got a great like jersey collection or a great story that you guys want us to really tap in on, hit us up uh, and we'll make it happen, man. At Knicks Fan TV on Instagram. Here was Tibbs on McBride once again. Miles McBride with uh, twenty six points. It was 26, right? What do you have? 21? Yeah, 26. Uh, 31 for um, for DiVincenzo. 26 for McBride. Here was Tibbs on McBride's game tonight. Well, he's well rested. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> – no. No, I, you know, it, it, and the thing is you, I, there's nothing that you don't love about Deuce. You know, like – and from the moment we drafted him. And even when he wasn't playing, that tells you a lot because the way he worked, you know, a guy's work ethic is a big part of it too, his drive. So he had that, I think, the toughness. The, I mean, the guy was a big-time football player. Those guys are tough guys. And he's, he's strong. He's got great feet. He's got great anticipation. He doesn't quit on a play. Um, so the defense has been there from day one. And then I think the offense was always pretty good. He's always he's always been a scorer, but he's he's gotten to the point where he's just a knockdown shooter now. Like you cannot leave him open. He's and the numbers bear it out, whether it's practice or, or games. And so it's a credit to him. He's in phenomenal shape. He stays in phenomenal shape. He takes care of himself. So he, I think he has the ability to do it. All right, that was Tibbs, man. Tibbs speaking glowingly of Miles McBride, and rightfully so, man, because everything he said was spot on. His defense was always there, but offensively right now, he has turned into a knockdown shooter. Shooter. Deuce McBride has turned into a knockdown shooter, man. And that is problems for the league. His game's starting to catch up. It's starting to catch on. Excellent, excellent performance by McBride, man. And and the coach is on the money. So, salute to McBride. Great job. And um, here was uh, Dante, big ragu. Here was his thoughts on Deuce's game tonight. Here was ragu. Deuce and his ability to play 44, 27, 48 minutes over the last three games. Just to, do you get surprised at all to see him not check out of a game? Um... No, I'm not surprised. I think, you know, obviously early on in the year he wasn't playing as much. Um, 
but you have to credit him for you know most guys when they're not you know not playing much or not playing at all, um, they kind of give in to the okay. Well, I'm not going to work. You know, do extra workouts. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. He does everything, um, and he's ready to go. So you know, when his number's called and he doesn't come out, that's what happens. He's ready. All right, that was Dante on Deuce, and this is Dante on the Dante's Inferno in the fourth quarter. Is is uh, Devo on on uh, being three Vincenzo in the thir- in the fourth? What do you think the difference was today in the fourth quarter? Uh, you know, it was such a close game up until then. Um, I think we just locked in. You know, honestly, defensively, um, one you know, limit them to one shot. Um, make it hard, be physical. Um, I think you know, early on, in the first half, they were getting a lot of tippings. Um, they were getting you know fouls at the rim, kind of easy layups. So we had to take that out, still be physical, but um, limit their second chance opportunities. What do you think the difference was today in the fourth quarter? All right, that was uh, Dante three Vincenzo on the fourth quarter. So a couple of uh, post game reactions here by the Knicks. We had Tibbs, we had Di Vincenzo. Let's see what else. Uh, let's see what else we have here from SNY. He talks about Hart. Can't say enough about Hart. Okay, there, there, there it is. You, you get the point. So good win by the Knicks to uh, to maintain position in the East. Nine one seven. What's your name? Where are you calling in from? This is Tom from Huntington. How are you, sir? My guy, my guy. How you feeling? How you feeling? Been a minute. Uh, I'm a pleasure speaking with you, the commander. The connector. Yes. The guy who gave me the Rapid Fire King title. That is I'll, I'll never th- forget that. That is correct. The nickname Commissioner. <laughs> exactly. Well, you know, I'm going to keep it quick. Um, number one, excellent win. Actually, let me backtrack a second. Shout out to Manscaped. Shout out to the underdog. Absolutely. Shout out to the, everyone in the chat, all the regulars, the new subscribers. Um, hit that like button. Subscribe. Number one show. For the fans, by the fans. Yep. Let me just get that out of the way first. Absolutely, you know it. Um, exactly. Yeah, I mean, we know the deal. Mm-hmm. Number one, um, ex- a, a shaky win. I was getting a little nervous in the mm-hmm. third, but glad we won the game. Um, I'd like to see them move the ball more through Hartenstein. Like, like yeah. I don't know, for some reason, like, whenever he does those one-hand floaters, I, I don't know what the percentage is, but it's, I always feel like it's going in. I, I don't know if you guys feel that way, but mm-hmm. I, I love that his, his game is, like, really taking off. Um, I'd like to see them, you know, go through him more than in, instead of just chucking threes because they get into that little habit. Yes. Um, I'd like to see um, Bogdanovich, um, number one, shave the head and just, like, get off the team. That's just – but that's besides the point. Um, <laughs> and uh, I love what uh, uh, what Deuce is doing. Work on the handle. You know, keep getting stronger. Um, I'm excited. I hope these guys come back. Uh, aside from that, thank you for everything you do. Yes, sir. And we'll definitely talk soon. Enjoy Appreciate the rest it. of your day, brother. Appreciate Thank the you. love. Appreciate the love. Tom from Huntington, man, and one of our day ones. And when you think about 500 episodes of Post Game Live, uh, Tom from Huntington was definitely a, a part of that and making a lot of those memorable, man. That, that's what, you know, that 500 episode celebration. It's going to be a celebration, you know, not just not just a post game show with Nixon Spurs. But it's going to be a celebration of, uh, of KFTV. Our hosts, our fans, everybody that that was here for a lot of these shows. Yeah, salute, man. Chuck D, salute, salute, salute. And as Tom said, you guys know the deal, man. Salute to one of our sponsors of tonight's show, and that is Manscaped, the leader of above and below the waist grooming. Check out the lawnmower 4.5.0, the weed whacker. You got the crop preserver, the crop soother, the boxers, the shed 2.0, all part of the performance package 5.0. And listen, fellas, it is spring, and this season, make sure to groom your carpets and the drapes with the leaders in below the waist grooming. Clear out that winter bush with Manscaped's Lawnmower 5.0 and watch your confidence bloom like springtime flowers. Embrace the season and join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with our special offer. Go to manscaped.com, use our code KFTV for 20% off plus free shipping, man. Shout out to our friends at Manscaped. Been a partner, you know, when we talk about post-game 500, Manscaped has been a part of a lot of them. They've been a part of a lot of them, and they they are going to continue to do so. Um, and, and yeah, we we shout out our relationship with Manscaped. Great products, and and it's it's been a part of the show. It's not just you know doing an ad read. The Manscaped was the no testimonials, and, and Tom from Huntington, 
they've <laughs> they've really been a part of our show, man. So shout out to our guys at Manscaped. Go get yours. They they ship to a ton of locations: U.S., U.K., Canada, France, South Africa, Singapore, wherever you guys are at in the world. You should be able to get uh, some Manscaped products. And yeah, man, use our code KFTV, twenty percent off plus free shipping. Another classic Manscaped read. Logic, sir, enjoys it. Logic, sir, enjoys it. All right, closing the show, Cody Glock. Let's close it out, Cody. Cody Glock. I'm I'm in the place. You in the place. Speaking of Manscaped, man, you in the building. Yo, shout out Manscaped, ma. Yeah. I average zero turnovers because of Manscaped, ma. I take care of my ball profusely with the utmost friction in my mixing. Yeah. No testimonials. Yeah. Church, preach, tabernacle. tabernacle. Listen. Yeah. Listen. The deuce? <laughs> I can't believe it, man. Like, I bet quickly out of here, man. I was, I was missing him, bro. I can't even front. Like I didn't think it it was gonna be like this, but the deuce is loose, profuse, with the utmost spruce in his bruce. He's coming he's becoming I might you know, like a Marcus Smart type of player like I thought he would be, you know? I hear you killing Bodega, C P. Alec Burks dropped his eighteen and Bodega's slack and now it's no nicknames. Okay, let's calm yeah. down, guys. Yeah, no nicknames. I know I, I know B and B sucks right now. But there's an asterisk behind this BNB sucking right now, you know, because I'm not going to chip on them. Like, they're stretching out their roles. They can't play defense. Let our guys buy, Burks, you know, plays better defense. Mitchie and OG. Burks, Burks and yo, yo, defense. Mitchie Mark and OG. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off. What did you say? I said Burks plays defense. Mark Davids don't play no defense. Go ahead. All right. All right. Even that, if, if that may be the case, right? Mitchie and OG's going to come back. And when they come back, their confidence is going to strike up because they're not going to be, like, they're going to be able to hide better on defense, and that's not going to be the main priority for them. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Here it is. The, the (laughs) who said bullying doesn't work as a text message just comes in from the man himself. Kendrick Perkins, let's link, confirmed, there we go, shout out to Knicks so let's, Fan TV, let's clap it up for, the, yo, clap it up it up for, for the KFTV Knicks. Nation, man, absolutely, where my, my claps on the soundboard, I gotta get that up, I'm not ready, Kendrick Perkins, ladies and gentlemen, confirmed, alright, there we go, Orca big, yeah. Shout out, shout out to Perkins. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead and finish your point. Sorry, I, I had to in- interrupt there. Yeah, but, you know, when when Mitchy and OG come back, you know, they'll be more confident and their offense will get better because they wouldn't have to worry and think about defense as much, man. Yeah. You know, but Julius could chill with OG and Mitchy coming back, too. I don't know when OG's coming back, but Mitchy is coming back. And Julius could chill. Just chill, Julius. I know you need your reps. I know you need your rhythm, bro. But just chill. I need you healthy, bro. Because if we have Dante LaDante playing like this, driving the ball and getting in that paint more often, like I've been begging him to do from the TV for months now, literally talking to him as if he could hear me from the TV. If Josh Hart playing like a man amongst boys when it comes to flat out hustle, if we got Brunson balling like this, and hopefully we could get more calls because it's purely ridiculous at this point. If we got I Hart playing like a top 10 center in the league, shutting me up as far as starting over Mitchie, we gonna be all right, man. Yeah. Julius, get your rest, bro. Yeah. Get it. OG, I believe in you. You coming back soon, but you could get rest too. But wait a second, CP. Okay. Let me tell you something about Cecil and Michi because man, my friend Cecil and Michi is Cecil no Michi, Are you manito. ready for the return? Are you ready? How will you be, man? The clock is ticking, guys. The <laughs> clock <laughs> is ticking, the CP. The return of the block this monster. Let's go. He's coming back. He's coming off the bench. No bench big can contain this man on the boards. I don't care what your name is. I rock with my little thun Jericho Sims. He gave a great effort tonight. But well, today, I should say. But Mitchie's back. 
handcuffs in the right pocket, a poster bag in the left pocket, yeah. and he ready to see you ready to see a Mitch you ain't never see before, man. Shout Let's out, go. shout out Nikki Lee, man. Shout out CP Fritos, man. Shout out Alex, man. Yard man, them jungle man, them. Shout out Chuck D. Yeah. Hashtag P in the chat, man. Shout out Josh Harrison. Shout out Jonathan Bender. I'm out, man. There Shout out go. um Kendrick Perkins, man. There you go. There you go. <laughs> His baby's going off in the background. Shout out to uh, <laughs> shout out to Cody Glock. Cody Glock was going in. Shout out to Cody Glock. But at the end of the day, salute to Knicks Nation. Salute to Knicks Nation. When we got to get it done, we get it done. This is a family show at the end of the day. Everybody moving their brick. And sorry, Kendrick Perkins, I had to air you out. But it was necessary. I was trying to hit you up for months now. So let's go. Hey, listen, that's how the game goes sometimes, man. Sometimes, you know, you reach out to these guys, you know, that around, this, that, and the third. Hey, it is what it is. But at the end of the day, the number one show for the fans by the fans has to deliver value to the people. This is a grassroots movement. And this is what you guys do, man. We got an army behind us. There is an army behind us worldwide, as you guys heard, from Australia to England to Bridgeport, Connecticut, to the Bronx, to Brooklyn. So, yeah, we had to summon Kendrick Perkins to the number one show for the fans by the fans. And we're going to make it happen. When? I have no idea. <laughs> but we'll work on it. We'll work on it, man. Salute to the people. This is the people's show. And uh, and you guys deserve it, man. Like I said, it's the number one show for the fans by the fans. This is the only show where you will get big-time analysts from every major network, from ESPN to MSG to SY. Shout out my guy Ian Begley. Shout out my guy Fred Katz. Shout out to Bobby Marks. Oh, me and Bobby got an announcement coming up, too. Shout out to Bobby Marks. And, uh, yeah, man, this is where we go. You don't get this anywhere else. This is why we ask for your support. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. And subscribe to the channel, man. I'm your host, CP The Franchise. Shout out to the Tratacast. Shout out to JD. Shout out to CK. Shout out to our producers. Shout out to the mods, man. Shout out to TM. Rhyme Admiral Chuck D. Gamba Tyler. Great job as usual. And that's it, that's it, man. Enjoy the weekend. Remember that the show's available in audio podcast format. No reason to miss it. You can catch us on all major podcast platforms. Uh, just to give you the guys a rundown again, tomorrow we'll be back for next weekly. Check us out on the NBA Report. Uh, look out for the notifications there. Make sure you guys are subscribing to the NBA Report as well. We need your support there. And that's what we do, man. Great show, great win. Big time performances by Deuce and Dante and the squad. Knicks roll. Let's get this W, man. CB the fans.